How you doing? So we have got a very interesting video for you today. Um, talking about horsepower and torque and RPM and all that stuff. And we're going to kind of put it down on a piece of paper here and kind of show you what we're talking about. Some folks don't understand dynos and so forth. And, you know, uh, some people actually think that one person might be claiming a certain horsepower and they're like there's no way that's possible we're going to kind of dive into some of that stuff today and kind of show you where all that missing for now i shouldn't say that word that's a bad word uh how about that's where some of that misunderstanding comes from <laughs> how'd you like that one all righty so let's uh take a look here all right by the way cleaning up my workbench how do you like that i can actually do some work here now but today we're going to dive into this book this is going to kind of show us an example of horsepower and the numbers and all that stuff we're going to kind of go up through it real fast and i think a lot of stuff is going to start making sense after this video all right welcome to my chalkboard or yeah graph paper but basically in this video we're going to talk about horsepower horsepower if we're doing the math the actual math in general we're looking at torque times rpm divided by 5252 now rpm technically this is force measured in distance uh so we're, 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 we're basically going to base this off of RPM though. You can dive into it more if you like, but it's basically the amount of force measured over a certain distance, which is basically our RPM. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go down through this real quick. And these are examples of the horsepower at different RPMs levels and different amount of torque and everything. So say we had three foot pound of torque at 9,000 RPM divided by 5252, we come up at 5.14 horsepower. Three, three foot pound of torque at 10,000 RPM, 5.71 horsepower. Uh, and we kind of do that a whole way down through here. So for an example, at 9,000 RPM at three foot pound of torque, we're looking at 5.14 horse. But down here at three and a half horse, or yes, at, so down here at three and a half foot pound of torque, same RPM, we're at 5.997 horsepower. So you can see the difference in horsepower from gaining a half a foot pound in torque, and it made no change to the RPM. You still gain horsepower. Um, now say we had that three and a half, half horse or three and a half foot pounds of torque and we were running at 13,000 RPM, we'd be looking at 8.66 horsepower. She really climbs up. You know what I mean? Now, if you look at this, this 0 0.57, 0 0.67, 0 0.76, 0 0.86, 0 0.86, as we gain torque so here here's examples in three three and a half four and four and a half foot pounds of torque well as we gain torque so the difference between it, it well at three horse or yeah so at three foot pound of torque for every thousand rpm we're gaining 0.57 horsepower at three and a half foot pounds of torque every thousand rpm we gain 0.67 horsepower. So as you can see, as we go through up in our torque, our increase in horsepower goes up as well. So over here at four foot pound of torque, we're up to 0.76 uh, horsepower gain. So it keeps climbing for every foot pound of torque we gain. Down here at four and a half foot pound of torque, we go up in increments of eight point or 0.86 horsepower. And if you're curious, cause I was, 
how many foot pounds of torque does it take to where you gain a horsepower for every thousand RPM? It's roughly five and a half foot pounds of torque will gain you roughly one horsepower for every 1000 RPM you gain. But you can see how important torque is in the equation here is figuring out your, your horsepower. Now this is where a lot of people, this is where YouTube kind of sucks on this, this subject because it's easy to see the RPM on video. Um, so if you see a saw running and it's running at like 12,000 RPM, you're like, yeah, that thing is cooking. But you don't know how many foot pound of torque it's producing. It, there's no way for you to tell. So this guy cutting at 12,000 RPM with four foot pound of torque, he's going to be pulling 9.13 horsepower. Where if you're used to seeing something at three and a half foot pound of torque cutting at 12,000 RPM, he's going to be running at 7.996 horsepower. So you can see the difference here. There's what, this is roughly eight and this is roughly nine. There's like a, almost a, there, there's, well, there's a little over a full horsepower difference in that half a foot pound of torque. So this is the thing on YouTube that like with videos, you just cannot see the torque no matter what. The only thing you ever see is the RPM. And it's hard to judge the horsepower from video. And that's why, you know, you, I, like we send ourselves to Dino Joe or whatever to get Dino runs. Um, the torque is very important, though, because it climbs a lot faster with torque than it does RPM. So, like, looking here... The difference in horsepower between 9,000 and 10,000 is 0.76 horsepower, right? At, at four foot pound of torque, we gain 0.76 horsepower. But let's compare 12,000 RPM at three and a half foot pound of torque, 7.996. This is common. This is a lot of 372s right here. This is a very common number to see on a lot of 372s. But what if we gain just a half a foot pound of torque at the same RPM? 12,000 RPM, 9.13. This is a much hotter solve right here with just a half a foot pound of torque more. Now, sometimes you can overdo it on your torque. So if you're looking at a dyno graph and you can see that curve, you're really not cutting at the peak part of the curve because that's where these numbers would be coming from is the peak. Where we're actually cutting is higher than the peak, maybe halfway down or somewhere in there. That's why, um, well, let me draw you a picture here. So let's just draw a simple graph here, a simple curve. Say this is your dyno run. This is where the dyno is taking its reading from right here, the peak part. But we may not actually be cutting there. This is gonna be lower in RPM than this part. So this here would be RPM, and the height here would be your torque, okay? So you might actually be cutting up here, which uses less torque than what you would be using at your peak. And like, especially with like racers, <coughs> a lot of racers don't even care about the peak. What they care about is how many RPM they're cutting at. That's the main thing. And to make sure they have enough torque to maintain that RPM through whatever cut they're doing. So there's kind of a thing to play with here, a little something. Um, I thought you guys would like to see this part, though. I found this part the most interesting because of how quickly you can gain horsepower by gaining a little bit in torque. Uh, it takes more effort to get a saw to go between nine and 13,000 RPM in the cut. You know what I'm talking about. You guys know what I'm talking about there. It's uh, the difference between getting a saw to go from nine to 13,000 RPM cutting is 
that's that's a lot of work to get to do that but you can still achieve that 7.42 horsepower down here at roughly three and a half foot pounds of torque but you're going to be doing it between 11 and 12. so it's kind of a game it's a game we play on our builds you know but i thought i'd make this little video and share it with you it's something to think about you know uh, if you're ever wondering about how much power you're producing this is the rough formula to get her done right here this is the formula that most everybody uses really you need to measure your rpm and how many foot pounds of torque that's if you can get those two measurements and do the math there's your horsepower right there but i think one of the nice things to think about here but i think one of the things to think about here is how as you increase in torque your horsepower goes up substantially you know it increases more and more and more uh you know what i mean the difference between you know a 0.57 horsepower gain and a 0.86 horsepower gain you know just by adding some torque uh you know just just in 1000 rpm you you can see quite of a bit more difference if you're producing the torque so if we see this when cutting i mean it's been tested time and time again so, yeah, hey, I thought you'd enjoy that. So there you go, just a, a little video there. I thought that it uh, was an interesting subject and you know, I have seen, I mean, I'll, I'll just say it, I've seen Briscoe called out on his horsepower numbers, people claiming that they aren't true. And it's, I think part of it is because you just, you can't see the torque on video, you know? Not like you can the RPM. And if you have just a little bit more torque, it is not hard to you know get higher horsepower numbers it just takes a little more torque and your your horsepower numbers can climb substantially so i think that's uh one of the things that some people tend to miss you know what i mean so hey hope you enjoyed it later